Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, before I bring the before I bring the jury back in, I want to share something with you. Uh, I know this is an emotional case. I recognize that. Uh, but when I they come in and we get the verdict, there can't be any outbursts. It can't be like television where people scream and yell and all that stuff. If you go, if you can't handle that, don't need to be in here. That's not being disrespectful. It's just say that's what's going to operate. So everybody can tell me, not going to be any outbursts, no matter what the verdict is, right? Okay. And officers back here, if you see somebody having an outburst, you let me know, and then I'll have to I'll have to resolve that, and I don't want to do that. Okay. All right. If you'll bring the jury in, please. Everybody rise. Thank you. Have a seat. And y'all moved around some, so I don't really have everybody's name anymore. But listen, my four person is on the back row there. Okay, if you'll get the verdict form, bring it to me, please. Thanks, sir. All right, Ms. Kilgore, if you'll stand up with your counsel, please. In regard to count one, charge of first degree murder, we the jury find the defendant guilty of first degree premeditated murder. On count two, uh, we the jury find the defendant guilty of first degree felony murder. Count three, we the jury find the defendant guilty of especially aggravated robbery. Count four, I'm sorry, count five, we the jury find the defendant guilty of aggravated arson. And count six, we the jury find the defendant guilty of theft of property valued at $2,500 or more, but less than $10,000. All right, thank you. Have a seat, please. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you that I appreciate your service and uh, working with me on this. Uh, I know one of y'all got somewhere to be on Friday night, so hopefully we got you out quick enough to do that. But I've got to make sure that's everybody's verdict. So instead of calling you by your name, I'm going to kind of call you by your number. I'm going to start back there with the gentleman, and you're going to be number one. So juror number one, is that your verdict, sir? Yes, sir. Juror number two, is that your verdict, ma'am? Yes, uh, juror number three, is that your verdict, ma'am? Uh, juror number four, is that your verdict? Juror number... Five, is that your verdict? Yes. Juror number six, is that your verdict? Yes, sir. Juror number seven, is that your verdict? Yes, sir. Juror number eight, is that your verdict, sir? Yes, sir. Juror number nine, is that your verdict? Yes, sir. Juror number ten, is that your verdict? Yes, sir. Juror number eleven, is that your verdict, sir? Yes, sir. And juror number twelve, is that your verdict, sir? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, once again, I appreciate your efforts. Uh, I think for the entire county, just take time away from your family. Uh, stay in a hotel for two or three nights while we worked on this case. It was a pleasure for me to work with each one of you. Uh, in just a moment, I'm going to make everybody rise and let y'all leave. Our deputy here will help take care of you, and then we'll move on from there. Is that okay? Uh, anything from the defense before I let the jury go? Anything from the state before I let them go? Okay, thank you for everybody. Rise, please. Thank you all again for your service. Thank you. Have a seat, please. As the 13th juror, I'm going to affirm those verdicts. Uh, I do need to go ahead and set a sentencing date. Uh, and it's life with possibility of parole, which in Tennessee is 51 years. Is it 50? Okay. We have a concern on that, whether it gets our case for filing motions for your trial out of black or not. I don't I, believe it does, Your Honor. Well, let, let me just risk it. Yeah, let, let me just try to take care of it all at once. I understand your position. Don't think you're wrong on that, but let me just try to take care of it at once. So when would be a good time? Y'all know more about how your jurisdiction works. How long would it take for the probation and parole people to do their report? And Murfreesboro, it's about 60 days. They'll expedite it, Your Honor. We can get that done. I think they'll, they'll expedite it in a lot of circumstances. If, um, if they be, we wait for 45 days, Your Honor. I would think within 30 to 45 days. Okay. We can have it. And, Madam Clerk, you may have to help me about what day a courtroom here is available. So if we go, uh, if we go 45 days out, they'll be near the end of October. <coughs> About October 29th. Okay. Sure. Okay. 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 Okay.
So what we'll do is we'll have sentencing on October 29th at 1 o'clock. It'll be in this courtroom or the courtroom next door. And then whoever gets the, and Madam Clerk, maybe you can help. I try to work on this before the hearing. So if whoever gets the sentencing report, if y'all can send, make sure I get a copy of it. That would be ben that'd be benefit if that's how y'all operate. Yeah, the uh, probation that generally emailing them to us and uh, I can forward it on to Whitney. That'd be great. If that's satisfactory with you, with you Okay. You know, I was filling out verdict forms. We we're filling out verdict forms for the court assignment. Sure. Yeah, you know, the verdict forms. Court wants to recess. We can bring them back, Your Honor. Just a moment. I've got time. I've got to fill out some. So that date's okay with you as well. And that'll be October 29th at one o'clock. <coughs> and I will wander back and let y'all just bring that to me. All right. Okay. And council, once again, thank you for your efforts. Thank you. We'll stand recess. Thank you very much. <coughs>